There are multiple different ways to encourage good behavior in any dog. One is to teach them specific skills and behaviors that we want the dog to be able to do like walking on a loose leash, being calm in new situations, knowing the difference between toys that they're allowed to play with versus other objects in the house that they're supposed to stay away from. But another way is to create conditions in the dog's life that lead to them being happier, more fulfilled, and therefore better behaved. And that's the topic of today's video. So before we begin, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Bark Food. Bark Food is a combination of kibble, supplements, and add-ons that are specifically engineered for your dog's breed, delivered straight to your door. They sent me some products to try out, which my dogs have been enjoying very much, as you'll see in this video. So if you're thinking about switching to a different dog food and you'd like to try out Bark Food, you can follow the link in the description of this video and use the promo code POSITIVE30 for a 30% discount and free shipping. And now back to the video. So what is enrichment? Enrichment is giving your dog any form of stimulation that improves or maintains their physiological or psychological well-being. One form of enrichment might be social, which involves interacting with your dog, anything that we do with the dog that we both enjoy, walking together, playing together. It can also be cognitive, using different types of puzzle toys and activities that encourage your dog to problem solve and think and interact with you or some other object. Perhaps you're teaching your dog to do a fun new trick. It can also be environmental, so taking your dog on a walk around the neighborhood or to a park where they have the opportunity to be in a different environment and sniff and explore. And finally, enrichment can also be sensory, which, which means encouraging your dog to use their senses for fun or for food. So using different types of enrichment is something that's good for dogs anyway, but it actually has another less obvious benefit, which is as a distraction. If you're using enrichment as a strategy to manage your dog in those situations where they could potentially learn a bad behavior, like when you are distracted in some other activity, you can use it to prevent bad learning or rehearsal of the behaviors that you don't want your dog to do. What we consider to be bad behavior is really just behavior. Dogs simply do what they have learned to do, and usually it's because it has paid off in some way in the past. It's been positively reinforced for the dog. So how do we use it? The simplest and most obvious way is to use puzzle or food dispensing toys. Slow feeder bowls are excellent as a form of enrichment. I use these daily with both of my dogs. Some toys can be stuffed with dog-friendly foods like little bits of peanut butter or yogurt. This is a mat that's designed for licking. It has little ridges on it that encourages the dog to lick in order to get the food off. The licking mat can also be used for grooming, giving your dog a bath, doing their nails, the kinds of things that your dog might have a negative reaction to. So I hope you learned something useful today about how enrichment can help your dog be happier, more fulfilled, and how you can use it to encourage your dog to be better behaved. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can catch the next one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.